Well, hello, beautiful people. It is I, Chisenya. I am back, and I know the five of you who watch me are probably wondering, where the fuck have you been, girl? Uh, to be honest, I just haven't been feeling myself. I've been really down on myself, being a little crybaby bitch, and I forced myself to get out of my funky ass funk, and I'm back, and that is all. That's all I can really say. Uh, so your girl, she went shopping, of course, right? Because this past, I think like a couple of weeks, uh, we had the VIB Rouge event. We had the 50, yeah, the VIB Rouge thing where it's like 15% off. And not to mention, a bunch of brands have released a ton of new stuff recently. And I was uber, okay, excited to try some new things. So, here we are. So, your girl went shopping. <laughs> that should be my thumbnail. <laughs> so, your girl went shopping. And this was not all in one shop. Kind of, sort of. Um, it just happened. And we're here to that. So now we have a video. So, let's just go ahead and get through this stuff because I have a ton of stuff to show you guys. So, I guess we'll start with this bag. Uh, so, Sephora gave me a shit ton of tissue paper, right? And no samples. Isn't that what they do nowadays? Sephora, they're slacking. I'll get through like the boring stuff first. So, the first thing I purchased was the Tatcha a water cream moisturizer and I'm sure you guys seen this and it's for normal to oily skin it is a water almost like a gel like moisturizer which is great like they said for normal to oily skin um, I had originally purchased the it cosmetics secret moisturizer some shit like that was so something like that but my god guys first of all it was so thick okay I am more oily combination skin, but at one point I had stripped my skin once again and I was super duper dry. And I thought, well, let me just go with a little bit of a thicker moisturizer. Guys, it was so thick. It had so much dimethicone inside of it that I broke out in the worst breakout of my life. I literally had a beard of breakouts and anywhere that I had placed a moisturizer, I broke out in blackheads. I had put some under my eyes. I even had blackheads under my eyes and the little milla, little white things that they call milla beads, milla, milia. I think I say it too much. It's, it's like a tiny word, but I broke out in that. It was so, 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 so bad. I had to take it back because I'm really uh, sensitive to things that have too much dimethicone and oh. I loved how glowy my skin looked, however, it was just too much. It felt so heavy. But this is a Tatcha water cream, which you guys probably have seen and people rave about it. But to be honest, guys, I've used it a couple times and it's nice, but it's not all that, guys. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it's the best moisturizer. It is super fucking expensive. It's like $68 and I think you can find just as great moisturizers for cheaper. I don't see what the hype is. The only thing that I can say that I've seen so far is that you don't need a lot because it's literally like splashing water on your face. Then I purchased the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. Uh, I really like this eye cream. I used to use it back in the day when I worked at Sephora, which was a long time ago, girl. Uh, but I recently have been trying different eye creams and I'm just like, eh, you know. I feel like I need something different. I was using the Maracuja one from Tarte. And I was still extremely dry, which is crazy because it contains the maracuja oil inside the moisturizer. And it's a super thick moisturizer, but my under eye areas was still look super dry. So I thought maybe I just need to change it. So I grabbed the ginseng. This had worked wonders for me. And it's nice because it does deep puff and it also brightens up the under eye area. So I guess we're not focusing. Uh, it's nice because it's lightweight and anyone that's super oily, you'll like this. It's refreshing, it helps depuff puff and lighten up the area. So I went back to that. Ugh, my hair is going to drive me crazy today. 
Guys, I've had this hair on since 7 this morning. Actually, like 6 this morning, and it's now like almost 5 p.m. Lasted a pretty decent time. Anyways, next product is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. Yes, I had fell into the whole hype of the Easy Bake powders. I had swatched it in store. Um, and it looked really nice on my hand, but I'm interested to see how it's going to look. I got the shade Banana Bread, and, oh, it's closed. Well, obviously. <laughs> but it's, like, really closed. How am I supposed to fucking open this? Damn. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I got the shade Banana Bread. Oh, this is cute, the packaging. Okay. Uh, and it looks like this. Kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me powders, even though I've never tried them. So don't quote me that it's like the same thing because I've never tried it. So, uh, yeah. They do have a strong scent. I mean, I'm not a crybaby when it comes to scents. I know some people are really sensitive to that and they get like headaches and all this extra stuff, but I'm not. If you guys haven't seen it, this is what it looks like open. And it has a little sifter in here. Oh. Yeah. It, oh. I'm not gonna lie. It smells fragrancy, kind of like rose-ish. Uh, it kind of smells like viejita makeup. You know, like, you know, grandmama makeup. That's what it kind of smells like. I'm not gonna lie, but that's the product right there. And, oh my god. It really does smell like grandma makeup. In store, it didn't smell this strong, guys. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna judge it, you know? I'm gonna give it a fair try, you know? Like I said, I'm not a complainer when it comes to scents, but that's my little grandmama-ish. So on to more Huda Beauty products. I had to shift my hair a little bit. <sighs> I don't bust at the house. As Rich Lux would say, love him so much. Oh, I am so obsessed with him. I love him so much. Okay, so on to the next Huda Beauty products. I purchased two of the Obsession palettes because my Sephora, they didn't have them on and they only sold me two. And to come think about it, they didn't even want to sell them to me, okay? Because, oh, listen to this. So I knew they had them, I knew they had them in store, right? So I go in, I was like, hey, can I purchase these? They're like, mm, no, these are hard lunch, so you're gonna have to come back on Saturday, blah, 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 where the Rouge events takes, takes place, and then you can purchase it then. Then, so I'm like, all right, fantastic. So I go, make my way down there in between weddings and whatever appointments that I had to do for makeup, and I had an hour break, ran to my local Sephora, to the mall, which is crazy. It's mayhem there, girl. It's mayhem. And I go, and I'm like, waiting in line. And I'm like, hey, so where are these palettes? I don't see them. Oh, it took them 20 something minutes for them to decide if they were going to sell them to me or not because apparently they had a rouge event. It was only meant for rouges, which I'm a motherfucking rouge, okay? Actually, I'm like. $50 away from being a rouge again for the year, okay? And it was like this whole fiasco thing, whatever, but the one manager was like, yes, I told her to come back because they're selling them today. Then the other manager was like, no, no, no. And then it was just crazy, guys. But anyways, the one manager came through. Shout out to her. She's amazing. May God bless her for the rest of her life. Everyone else, the Lord is watching. <laughs> okay, but not to mention, they only had these two. I wanted all five or six of them that came out. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I'm not greedy. I'm thankful for whatever I can get. However, I did want all of them. Not gonna lie. But I did manage to have the... What? I managed to get my hands on the Amethyst... Obsessions and the Topaz Obsessions, which I really wanted these two and the blue one the most. Uh, Amethyst, because I love purple. That's my birthstone because I'm an Aquarius. My birthday's in February on the 6th. Thank you so much. And 
yeah. So this is uber exciting because it's super different and I really like these colors and I just feel like this is going to create a bomb jewel tone eye and I'm hype AF for this because I'm excited for some new shadows. Like I told you guys before, I love these. I love the Obsessions palettes. I feel like they're so much better than her actual big palettes. So I love these. This is the Topaz one, which has more warmer tones, perfect for the fall time, you know, that basic fall look that everyone's going for, like the oranges and the gold. Nice for an everyday palette, but kind of hype for that yellow right there. A dirty yellow, looking like a squash. Yep. And I swatched these, well, I swatched the purple one, and they're really nice. Ooh, this, ooh. <gasps> Mm, that one's nice. Ooh. Oh. Y'all. Yeah. <gasps> These are exciting times in the makeup industry right now. <sighs> yeah, it's yeah, it's hot, guys. Next up is the Norvina palette, which I did not get at Sephora, but it was in my bag. My man actually bought this for me a while back, but I thought I would show you guys because I still haven't even used it, which don't tell him. But this is exciting because, again, purple, purple. Hello, we're here. And I actually really just, <gasps> oh, I swatched it. <laughs> I forgot, I did swatch it though. Um, so if you guys haven't seen the Norvina palette, this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous, colorful, not too colorful, but like a pinky, purpley, and neutral type of palette. And yeah, this is just what it looks like. I mean, I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing it, but I'm not tired because I love her. And I love Anastasia. And of course, I got another amazing brush. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about these. These are like the best brushes ever. This is like my third or fourth one and they just deliver. I actually created my look today using these brushes and I love them. So that's that. The only thing with this one though, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this would have more purpley shades. I mean it I mean, I guess, but it doesn't have as much as I like would have thought, you know? I don't know. It's still a good palette, though, because I love Anastasia, so that's that. Okay, y'all, so it's getting, like, really hot now because I kind of feel like... <sighs> I feel like a, a fucking jock strap during football season. It's hot. It's hot right now. Purchased two blushes from... Sephora actually. One is from the Sephora collection which is called So Euphoric and this is the color right here. If it would focus. No. Nope. Well, it's a peachy blush guys. And the next one is from Bare Minerals which is their Gen Nude blushes and you guys know I love these blushes. This is in the shade Bellini Brunch. Mm -hmm. And oh Oh my god. Ugh, such a pretty color. Boom. Look at that. Now she is popping. Now it is a softer peach, which I feel like would be nice for more of a subtle look. Who am I kidding? <laughs> but there it goes. <laughs> it is so pretty. And. You guys, if you guys haven't tried these Gen Nude blushes from Bare Minerals, I definitely suggest for you to try them. Especially if you're someone that don't like a lot of blush. They are very, very, very uh, buildable and they come off soft and then you layer them and layer them and then you can build them up. Uh, me, personally, I, clearly I love blush. So they're not scary to me, but they're nice and uh, beginner friendly. And y'all, I, I need a new eyebrow item. So I purchased the dark brown 24 hour super brow long wear pomade from Kat Von D, which my friend Crystal, 
who is Chris Style XOXO on Instagram. She suggested for me to try this. I was just, oh, my nose is sweating already. I usually use the, well, I was using the Benefit Cabral, I think it is, the pomade thing. But that bitch dried out, like, not even three months in, and I was just really trying to make it work. Like, adding, um, I don't know, like, oil, like, really extending the life out of it. But I finally was just like, okay, no. At this point, it's time to let it go. So it was time to get a new one, and I decided to go with the Kat Von D. And this is what it looks like. I do like pomades because I feel like I'm just super comfortable with using them, and they're so much faster to work with for myself. So... This is what it looks like and I'm uber excited to try this because like I said I really liked I liked the bare well, the benefit one but it just dried out so fast it's weird and I'm not the first person that said that a lot of people that have tried it they all said the same thing that it dried out super duper fast which is really odd and I lost my Anastasio one um, it was in my kit and then all of a sudden it's gone bye it just left said go girl bye then i purchased uh two more house of lashes adhesive this is my favorite 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 lash adhesive guys if you are struggling to find a good glue that's easy to work with i definitely suggest to use this one what is up with my camera i have no idea I suggest to use this one because it really lasts a long time and it's super easy to work with, user friendly, and your lashes don't move all over the place. And it doesn't take forever to hot under these lights. <gasps> it's hot. Let me stop bitching. Okay, so eyeliner is one sale from Urban Decay, and I purchased four of them because they were on sale for ten dollars, guys. Come on, ten dollars? That's like almost drugstore prices. It's insane. So, I got Psychedelic Sister, which is a purple one. I got Legend, which is a super black one. I got Woodstock, which is a pretty pink magenta one. And I got Walk of Shame, which is a nude skin tone color. And I actually have these, well, I have this one in my kit. And I felt like I needed one myself, even though I use like the Benefit Highbrow thing in my waterline. I wanted one that had more of like a skin tone undertone rather than that pink undertone. So I got one for myself. I also went and purchased the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. I had originally purchased the color uh, Golden Beige, I think it was. Golden Beige, something like that. It was one or the other. But it was just like way too dark for me. I didn't even get as tan as I thought I was going to get. Uh, and it ended up turning into like a really dark color. So I took it back and exchanged it for this one. I thought this would be more of a highlighting shade for me because I'm really fair. Don't get it twisted, guys, with all this bronzer and stuff on. I'm actually really, really fair. Fake ass Puerto Rican. <laughs> yep, okay. What do we got here? Oh. Last but not least, guys, we have some lip products. Don't worry, I'm almost done with you guys. I'm trying to get it as fast as I can. I purchased two Bite Beauty items. <sighs> you guys, Bite Beauty and me go way back. I absolutely love Bite Beauty. I haven't talked about them in a long time. I probably haven't talked about a lot of things in a long time because I'm never on the fucking internet anymore. Uh, but these Amuse Bouge... Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip were on sale uh, for like $11. And yeah, I wanted to give it a try because in store it looks so nice. So I got the color Caramelized. And guys, oh my god. This doesn't smell as good as it smelled in store. What the hell was I smelling in store? It's probably that Huda Beauty powder. I was, <laughs> my god. But this one's nice because it almost reminds me of the shiny liquid lipsticks from Buxom. But it's even more glossier. It's supposed to be a gloss, but 
No, liquefy lip, like a liquid lipstick. Okay, so it's kind of like the same concept as the Buxom, which is a shiny liquid lipstick. Oh, so of course I got a nude in case I didn't like the formula, but I love anything by Beauty Makes, so who am I getting? Then I got one of the Amuse Boosh, Boosh? Is that like douche? But would it be Boosh? Amuse Boosh lipstick. In the shade Lit Turmeric. Tur turmeric. Turmeric. What the fuck? <laughs> so this is one of their fall colors for this year. And oh, guys, I swatched this in store. Tell me this color is not beautiful. What is up with the focus today, girl? This doesn't smell as good as I remember Bite Beauty smelling like. I feel like Bite Beauty used to smell like roses. It smells like something, but I can't figure it out what it smells like. But these are so nice, guys, because if you're into like that supernatural um, makeup, like the organic stuff, these are really nice because, guys, like I mentioned before, like back in the day, you can technically eat these lipsticks. That's how natural they are. They're made of like fruit oils and fruits and all that jazz, but uh, yeah, this is that color right there, the Lit Turmeric. Oh, it is such a pretty color. I can't wait to wear that because it's really a nice fall color. I got another Gen Nude Beauty. No lies. What the hell? Then I got another Bare Minerals Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer. This time I got it in the color IRL. Uh, the last time I talked to you guys, I had actually got it in a color Yes. So this is what it looks like in the tube. And I love these. They're super pigmented. They're glosses, but like the pigmentation of them is ugh, sickening. And they feel really nice too on the lips. They don't feel like um like goopy. And these smell good. Not these. I know they smell good. They smell like freaking cupcakes or something that you eat that's gonna rot in your teeth. Yep. Love them. Oh, that color's so pretty. Yeah. And last but not least, you guys are probably tired of me talking. Mm -hmm. I got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Diamond Milk. And oh my god. I was going to buy the highlighter, right? Because my friend Mariah, uh, if you guys don't know who she is, she's Glamour by Mariah on Instagram. She's popping, okay? Uh, she had bought the highlighter. We had saw the highlighter at the same time, but she had rushed out and got it, like, right away. And I loved how it looked on her skin. It looked so beautiful. It looked so, it just looked like wet skin. I was like, okay, now, like, I really want it. So I go to Sephora, right? I swatch it. And on me, it looked like shit. It just was not as good as it looked on her. And I don't like the texture of it. It's kind of like um, like the way the Stila one is. And I don't like the texture of those either. It was just weird. But I swatched this in store. Now this. This is nice. And it smells like... You know what it smells like? You guys remember like those white popsicles that you guys used to get as a kid in the summertime? Like those big ass ones that used to be like 50 cents and now they're probably like 400 bucks. Oh my god, that's exactly what it smells like. Ugh. Oh my god. And this is nice because it just gives you like that wet lip appearance and you can actually wear this by yourself guys. It's actually moisturizing. But look at that. Look how juicy your lip is going to look with that, girl. Yes. And I'm, like, so tempted to like it. I want to see if it tastes like that popsicle. I will like it when I put it on my lips. But, yes, I'm getting distracted by that scent. Yeah, this is what it looks like, guys. I'm uber excited for this one to wear it by itself and to wear it on top of something. It just stinks that it's white because you know damn well we're gonna tear it up with some other nude lipstick and all of a sudden we're gonna create our own nude lipstick, nude gloss. Dirty as hell. 
So that is all my loves. I am so glad that I got back here to talk to you guys. I actually have a couple other hauls if you guys are interested. Um, I would like to share some looks using these palettes if you guys are interested. You know, you guys can let me know down below. I would say let me know down below. No one lets me know anything. Come on, guys. Who am I talking to? I swear all five of you are amazing, but can I get some suggestions? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I apologize if the lighting's all wonkified. It is going to pour right now, and it's only, what time is it anyway? I don't even know, but it's going to pour, and yes, I don't want to hold you guys up anymore. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.